Okay. Felix is here. Is he high? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a Project Pan update and this is the Single Ladies and My Man Matt Project Pan that I'm doing with a bunch of lovely ladies. Jessica and Amanda, they created this January last year, so it has already been a year. So this is update 12 for this Project Pan, which is really insane. And I have some progress to show you guys and some changes to this project for the last few months maybe half a year even i have talked about that i wanted to switch out the matte palette that i have in this project because we are focusing on a matte palette and then four single shadows that can kind of go together and I've just decided to move on to something new. The whole entire of 2019 I have tried to depend on this palette and now I'm just ready for something new. The palette that I'm going to switch out is the Morphe 35OM palette. I have been working on this all year as I just said and I will pop in a picture of how it looked like last time. And this is how it is looking like right now so as you can see i have two new pants since last month with which i think is really cool those two new pants are in these two shades right here this shade i have used to highlight if you can say that my brow bone i have actually been mixing it with this shade right here the lighter shade in the palette just because it was a smidgen too dark sometimes the other shade was this one and i have been using that in my crease tr slash transition area and i have been really loving that shade actually more than i thought i would i thought it was a little like this one but it's a little bit darker so it works out a, bit, a little bit better um i have been focusing on this shade as well in my crease i have been loving that shade it is a dark caramel brown color it is absolutely beautiful and i feel like i have cat hair all over and lipstick everywhere i have been using this one in my brows for the last two weeks of the 2019 oh well most of December until I introduced a brow product in uh, my whole collection project pen. Other than that, I have used that shade and these two shades a lot in my outer corner. I didn't really focus on one shade, but I have a slight dip in this shade right here. I hope you can see it. This one in my brows, it has a slight dip as well. Hope you can see it right there. This one has a dip as well right there i think i have done really well with this palette it is a drier consistency or formula of the shadows maybe they are getting a little bit older i bought this in 2016 i think i just got home from germany when i bought this palette plus another one and some makeup geek single shadows that i also have had in this project I don't know what else to say about this palette other than I really really enjoy it. I have been playing around with the very warm tone shadows over here. I'm just ready to move on from for now. I have planned on going back to this palette at some point because we are kind of doing this until we don't want to anymore and we don't have any matte palettes in our collection. So. I will get back to it at some point, but for right now, I just need to use something else. So that is going back into my collection. Let's talk about the palette that I am going to focus on instead of the Morphe palette. And it is a W7 Major Matte Natural Matte Eye Color Collection palette. It is a dupe for the Too Faced natural matte i think they are called this is my starting point i have used this a handful of times so it doesn't have any dips or you can't really see much use you can maybe see i've swatched it here and there if i'm really good i can finish it but i don't think i am going to be 
successful with that when I have my Panda palette as well and it is very neutral but the colors are very light so I thought this is going to be awesome also because for the last week or so I have tried not to use my Morphe palette and I am missing my warm tone shadows so I thought these two down here is going to work great with the shadows that I am panning at the moment this is my starting point for the palette and I'm really excited to see what I can do with this palette this year. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy following me <laughs> for this year with this palette. It is noisy though. I don't like the packaging. It is plastic and no. I hope I get used to it because it's a little bit annoying right now. And I have cat hair all over my face. It is itching. So if I am... Touching my face, that is what. I don't think it was broken when I introduced it last update, but it is now and it is freaking annoying. So I'm really, really considering departing this because this is so annoying and it doesn't fit. And I really, really love this, this eyeshadow and I use it every single day in my inner corners. It is the Essence Single Eyeshadow in Snowflake and I will have the picture here of how it looked like last time. So there are some use, you can see with the pan it has expanded a little bit so that was the lid poking into the shadow so it has a dent right there but I haven't made awesome progress on this one because I have been focusing on the pan area so I haven't used it down here but it is a beautiful 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 eyeshadow and I love to use this to lighten up shadows and use it in my inner corners and stuff like that. So I love this eyeshadow and I don't want to declutter it just because of the packaging but I have considered depotting it because I have my bigger C palette so I don't see why I can't. Something that I have made quite good progress on I think is my P2 The Future is my Eternal Style Mono eyeshadow in Virtually Bronze. This is where I am now so as you can see the pan has expanded quite well this is not the fastest eyeshadow to pan i have been using it all over my lid so many times and i think the pan and the dip has expanded you can definitely see that on the pictures and i will just keep using it because i really really love it it is looking like the shadow that i have in my panda palette so maybe it is going to slow down because i am going to focus on that more than this one but the nude shimmer shadow that I have in my Panda palette is a little bit lighter than this one. I have it right here, by the way. This one. I have two shadows here that I am also working on in this project. The one I have on my eyelid right now, it is the Colored Rain Side of Olives eyeshadow. As you can see, there's a dip forming and I have a goal of hitting pan by next update. I think this look is absolutely beautiful and I think it is going to match these shadows in this palette really well. I am making progress. There's still a huge stand and I have had that dip for months now. And I really want to hit pan on this so I can really say that I hit gold. I have had this in the project for like more than half a year. It is time to hit pan on this yellow. Something that I have also had in this project for forever, it is my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Anarchy. I don't know if you can see the smallest dip that I have in this shadow. It is definitely also time to hit pan on this eyeshadow. I have no idea if I can do it this month because I really want to focus on the olive shade. But I will definitely do my best to see if I can. Otherwise I need to pull out some shadows from this project. Because um, I don't know if I can do that. That is everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of these kind of videos from me, please go subscribe down below. I do a lot of project pants, eyeshadow project pants, and uh, lots of lots of project pants. And guess what? I'm not done introducing new project pants this year. I have so many ideas and projects and I want to join in the Fantastic Ladies. It is so <laughs> insane and I'm I'm trying to find another face I could put makeup on because there is just not enough space and time. Oh my god. 
so if you're new here i hope you are going to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and i will see you guys next time bye